And next up, the second body paragraph. And the second body paragraph follows the same structure as the first body paragraph. This time we'll be transitioning from the first body paragraph, but we must have a topic sentence that explains what the paragraph is about. Uh, we'll provide a supporting detail, usually in the form of a quote. And then the really important part, the analysis. Explain how the evidence proves your claim. This should take multiple sentences if you're doing it well. For developed analysis, it's probably going to take multiple sentences. Then you transition to a second supporting detail, and again, explain how that detail proves your claim, and then a concluding sentence to round off the paragraph. So the second reason college athletes should not be paid. If we go back to my organizational T-chart here, uh, the second body paragraph is about how the degree they get for free will allow the students to make more money as adults. So paying them while they're playing is really paying them more than they need because they're getting paid in future dollars already. And I've got the details that I'm going to use. This is basically the topic sentence idea. I just need to rewrite this into a topic sentence. But I have what I need here. So I transition. Another reason colleges should not pay student athletes is because the free education they get will benefit them throughout their lives. And that is payment enough. So that's my topic sentence states the main point of the paragraph, this reason that they should not be paid. Then I provide an introduction to the detail. In fact, if those students take advantage of the free education, their financial well-being will be greatly increased, colon. Then the quote, college graduates earn approximately $1 million more during their lifetimes than people whose highest educational attainment is a high school diploma. I have the citation done correctly with a capital T, lowercase l, period, outside. Now I explain it. Again, scholarship athletes can earn a college diploma for free. And while they may not get paid during their college years, their hard work will result in much greater earning potential as adults. That benefit is certainly more than adequate compensation for their athletic efforts. You see how many sentences it took me to explain my point. Developing your analysis is really important. If you just try to do it in one sentence, you're probably not doing enough. You really need to go into depth and explain it. Then we move on to the second detail. It starts here. Not only that, but that increase in earning potential occurs, quote, whether or not they move on to a professional sports career. Again, citation done correctly. Text 4, lines 21 to 22. And we analyze. The number of college athletes who become professional athletes is extremely small. With the free education they receive, students who do not end up living in the lavish lifestyle of the greatest professional athletes will still have the opportunity to live comfortable, monetarily stable lives. That benefit is far greater than a mere four years of payment. Instead, they get paid for a lifetime. So again, developed analysis, developed explanation, really explaining how the detail proves your point. And then finally, a concluding sentence, transition. In the end, the long-term economic benefits of a college education are more than sufficient payment for student athletes. So hammering the claim once again. And that is the second body paragraph. And one thing I would like you to notice is how many transitions I used. Transitions are really important because they smooth out your writing. As you move from one idea to the next, if you put a transition between, it gives the reader an idea of how those two ideas are related so they don't jump from one to the next without knowing what your point is. So, a transition here. Another reason, and in fact, it's a transition. Again, is a transition. Um... Not only that is a transition. 
even within sentences. Like here I have a compound sentence with a dash, but the word instead gives the relationship between the two ideas. And then before the concluding sentence, I have a transition. Transitions all over the place. They are there to help the reader understand the relationships between your ideas. So try to focus on providing transitions for the reader. Next, we'll talk about the counterclaim paragraph.